Welcome back. Fire crews are making progress on that fire burning in Bastrop County. It is 50% contained now, and the burn area is much smaller than we first thought. Yeah, about 100 firefighters are on the scene with support from air tankers. This fire is burning near Camp Swift, northwest of that huge Bastrop fire that burned in September. The latest now live from Katina McHenry in Bastrop. Katina? Good afternoon, Chris. Well, we're told that fire that's burning now is on the perimeter of the Bastrop fire that burned about a month ago. It's a day and a month to the day it started, which was yesterday. Another piece of good news is that in addition to it being 50% contained, the burn area is a lot smaller than once thought. It's now burned 320 acres as opposed to what was once reported yesterday, 1,000 acres. They were able to get more accurate readings when the DPS helicopters took their helicopters up along with their GPS devices, and that gave them a better reading of the burn area. So that's a piece of good news. We don't know about any structures that have burned, but there were about 30 homes evacuated yesterday. Just as a precaution, the fire was not threatening any of those homes, but they evacuated those people just as a precaution. They're hoping to reevaluate the situation tomorrow and maybe get people back into their homes tomorrow, but they have to reevaluate the situation first. A couple things that have made the difference. The air tankers, they were sitting and waiting at Austin Ber Bergstrom International Airport as they have been the last couple of weeks, a DC-10, as well as two C-130s. A DC-10 can hold about 12,000 gallons of fire retardant, and so when they got the call yesterday, they were able to dispatch those air tankers immediately, and that has made a huge difference in getting control of this fire. The other thing that's made the difference is the weather. The weather is not as hot as it was a month ago. We don't have triple degree temperatures. We don't have low humidity. The humidity has been higher, and the winds have been a lot calmer. Those folks were able to dump a whole bunch of fire retardant uh, yesterday afternoon and yesterday evening uh, before about 7.30 when they had to shut their operations down. Now we are off, just off of road 2336, so take a look at what you can see from this point. There is smoke, as you can see, but it looks a whole lot better than that fire that burned, the other Bastrop fire that burned a month ago. So 50% containment. We'll get updates as they come to us, but I think the hope is that they can get control of it and maybe put it down by later today. But of course, those evacuations will let you know when they'll talk about maybe letting people back into their homes. We'll give you as, many, as much information as we possibly Possibly can they may bring that DC-10 tanker back out another time, but we'll let you know about that. For now, we're live in Bastrop, Katina McHenry, KXAN News. All right,